Sorry for my absence, my laptop exploded, which was not ideal, but we managed to sort it and so I can make videos again. So anyway, I just want to go through today's stage, obviously very decisive in terms of GC, um, but only really for one, for two people, three people actually. Haig crashed out, very sad, um, hasn't had good luck in the tour it seems. O'Connor lost a lot of time, like three minutes or something, uh, due to a puncture, that was really sad. AG2R, I don't think, did great in chasing, and Roglic lost like two minutes or whatever he did as well. Uh, Pagacha, okay, fine, he gained 12 seconds, but it was more symbolic than anything else. If we look on the GC here, you can see Yates, Pidcock, and Garrett Thomas all looking in pretty good position, actually. Danny Martin is not too bad. Then you've got the classics, which is like Poggy looking good, uh, as well as Vingegaard, and then the rest of them are sort of all, you know, there or thereabouts. Um, big up APP for uh, AG2R. No way he's going back to sort out Ben O'Connor. He's got his own GC ambitions to to get top 11th on but if we look at Roglic he is quite a long way back now which really is, is not ideal if we actually have a look he's 2 minutes 36 back which minus Wout Van Aert is about 2 minutes on Poggy now the question is how did Pikachu lose so much time now you might already know this you might not but there was a crash here we we're just going to go into my little slideshow and whack on the old laser pointer so anyway what happened a motorbike hit these things now these are hay bales dressed up dressed up nicely i didn't know they were hay bales actually i just thought they were like you know whatever um but anyway obviously when they take the roundabouts they're supposed to be like sort of linear so you, you know you take it out it'll be the same curve anyway obviously it isn't this is impinging the road it actually goes further out guys at the front miss it roglic doesn't you can see here roglic just crashed on the right hand side Everyone on the left, I think, got round okay. On the right, they didn't. Gary Thomas was there along the right side, some others. Here we can see the crash. There's Caleb Ewan, who I think could have been a favourite for the stage. Um, if he did okay, there's Jani Verdemir, uh, not Jani, Florian Verdemir, second in Roubaix. And there's Roglic landing on his shoulder. Now, this is the key thing. Because if you look behind, there's actually a lot of people caught out. Gary Thomas also got caught out, um, as well as most of the Ineos train, apart from Dylan Van Baal, because he was on the other side of the road. The key thing is this here. So this is the group of Wout Van Aert and they went past him because Roglic is over here popping back his shoulder and that is the key thing because if Roglic hadn't had to sort his shoulder out he would have been fine he would have then been in the same group as Garrett Thomas the same group as Vingegaard when Wout Van Aert caught them Vingegaard's here obviously because he already had a puncture miles back then Roglic would have been in that group Roglic would have lost no time like you know 12 seconds to Pogaccio which is basically irrelevant more or less um, so yeah that is that is the big issue like Roglic had this shoulder which i guess makes sense we look at this image here i mean like he hasn't landed well on his shoulder has he um and he, you know the tour the tour bad luck continues for the man but yeah that's that's the issue if he hadn't have had the bad shoulder he wouldn't have lost any time so it's really unfortunate for him it's a bit of a shame that you know these cobble stages like they're really good fun but i think the thing is it's like the excitement is never from the stage it's like you know it's never from the attacking it's from the it's from people going out the back because of punctures crashes etc which is just like I don't know, is that exciting? Not really. Like I know it can happen on any stage, but I think it's just the stress of it. I mean I'm I, I think they should have cobbles in it, but I think you know, maybe I don't know how they make it so it's just less annoying. But it is a bit annoying because now it's like, you know, Ben O'Connor's just lost his GC because he got a puncture at the wrong time. It's just a bit sad. But anyway, and Roglic basically the same crash. I know he could crash at any time, but obviously there's more chance of crashing in cobbles. But anyway, those are my thoughts. Hope you'd enjoy it. Wat Van Art Power Day is coming. Um, got more data from yesterday, actually, which is exciting. Um, some cross-correlation between numbers he released on Strava as well as Garrett Thomas. Means I think we have a good chance to understand what he did on, on yesterday's stage. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.